Hi guys, welcome to my gazelle tutorial. We're going to learn how to do the gazelle split, which is a beautiful basic aerial hoop split that every aerialist should know and anyone can do. We're also going to learn a few variations to make it a little bit fancier if you want to put it in some choreography or just make a really cool Instagram video. You start by sitting in the hoop and you're going to scoot your hips just a little forward as you turn them to the side. Turning your hips as far as possible to the side will help you a lot later. You're going to pick which direction to turn them based on which leg is going to be forward in your split. So if I want my right leg to be forward in my split, I turn my hips to the left. And the same if I want my left leg to be forward in my split, I turn my hips to the right. Next, I'm going to walk my hands down the side of the hoop as I do a big circle all the way around the hoop with my bottom leg, sort of like the hand going around a clock face. When I get as far as I can, I'm going to place the same hand as I have legs. So if it's your right leg, use your right hand. If it's your left leg, use your left hand. On the outside of my ankle, then I can let go with my other hand and release my shoulders all the way till they point to the ground. To come out of it, I'm going to put my free hand back on the hoop. Then my leg is going to reverse the circle it just did, coming all the way back down. As my hands and my body come up the other side of the hoop, make sure to leave your head to last because it will give the illusion of arching up and it just looks pretty. Here's the whole thing with a spin. Pro tip, if you feel uncomfortable in the final position, like you're not completely locked in, it's probably because you didn't scoot your hips far enough forward at the beginning. I like to say make the hoop your g-string, so you make sure you have the bottom of the hoop right between your um, glutes. In the final position, you should feel 100% locked in. It should be super comfortable to take your hand off. Now for some variations. Our first variation is great for anyone who's not as flexible in their hamstring. As you lean back and arrive in your upside down position, you're going to hook your front leg around the outside of the hoop, bending your knee to a 90 degree angle. You should have your foot and your knee on opposite sides of the hoop. Then you bend your back knee and you've arrived in a lovely stag position. Second variation is great for anyone who's feeling flexible today. You can lean back the same way as before and pull your leg towards your face if you want to show off your hamstring flexibility. Then reach back with your back arm and take your back foot. So that should always be right foot and right hand together and left foot and left hand together. And here are our variations with the spin. You can straighten one leg, straighten the other leg, find your own positions. It's really fun to be creative in this one. Please subscribe to my channel for more tutorials, makeup videos, costuming videos, and performance videos where you will see this move a lot because I use it all the time. And let me know what videos or tutorials you would like to see because I take requests. I hope you really enjoyed this and learned something fun.